All right, folks. So we're going to talk a little bit about this this Baofeng UV5R. Uh, reason being is is that uh, when I do tests with the Tiny SA and test for spectral purity or harmonics, everybody says, "Can you do a test on a Baofeng UV5R?" Uh, we've done some tests on Baofengs, but I don't think we've done this model specifically. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I do want to explain that this is a very old Baofeng. Um, it's at least five years old. It's probably older than that. I've had it sitting here for about two years in a box. And uh, when I got it, it was what you would call relabeled old stock. So I'll do a zoom here so you can see it. But uh, there is an FCC ID. And originally, many of these did not have them. I believe if you look this FCC ID up, what you're going to see is that it is for part 15, which is harmful interference to other electronic devices that are nearby. It has nothing to do with being certified for use as amateur radio, but that's neither here nor there or something we're going to debate. Um, but one of the things that you can see is, is that there are two different serial numbers on here. And uh, what happened was, is that a lot of this old stock got re-stickered with the sticker with the FCC ID. But now I don't, I don't know what the rule is around having serial numbers, but th this particular Balfang has two different serial numbers. Um, so I was sent some of these, not this one, from a company, and uh, I told them I wouldn't review it because to me this seems kind of greasy, kind of shady, and speaks to kind of gray market, black market Balfangs. All of that being said, this is the one we're going to hook up and we're going to test. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how we're going to, how, how we're going to set it up for the test. Okay, so here's our tiny SA, and I have a USB-C port coming through here because we're going to do the display on the computer. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to see or read. <clears throat> and I want to mention that what we have here is we have a coaxial cable going into the low port of our tiny SA, and this is set for low in. And then uh, I have a 40 dB attenuator in place, and what this does is it reduces the strength of a signal by 40 dB. And we put that here in line with our coaxial cable here, which is going to connect to our Baofeng here. But the reason we put this in place is, is that the Baofeng signal would be too strong to pipe it directly into the tiny SA. We're going to be operating this on its high setting, which is allegedly five watts. So all I got to do is, I, is just connect this up and then turn it on. And then we're ready to go. Let me get the screen up from the computer. Okay, so what everybody should be able to see is right about here, here, the, um, the screen capture for the tiny SA. So this is my first time doing this, so we can enjoy this moment together. A couple of things that we want to do is I want to go to the tiny SA and I want to activate the menu and then I want to click the measure. So once I click that measure, I have some different options here. I'm going to pick harmonic. And once I do that, I am going to type in a frequency. Today we're going to test on one, four, six dot five two and then i'm going to hit megahertz and now the tiny sa is kind of preparing itself getting itself ready for the test you see two different lines there the yellow is a 4x uh, average of readings per so it's a four sweep average i should say um, what i do have is this tiny little peak right above the word start um, you can see it right here, and I typically don't have that, so I don't know if I'm picking that up because I'm connected to the computer or not. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click this. Now, we're roughly 150 megahertz, so 150 megahertz plus 150 megahertz is 300, plus another 150 takes us to 450. If you look on the lower right-hand part of the screen uh, for the tiny SA capture, you see our stop frequency is 350. So we are only going to get the fundamental or the first harmonic and then the next harmonic. We're not going to be able to go deeper. But we will be able to see adjacent spurious emissions, so that's exciting. So let me go ahead and I'm going to key this up and uh, we'll see what happens. And we're getting a bunch of stuff here. And um, that's no good. So what, what it's seeing for our harmonic is actually a couple of spurs away and it's only negative 34 dB down. And when we look at negative 34 dB down, that doesn't meet the requirement where your harmonics or any spurs need to be at least 40 dB down below the fundamental. So let's go ahead and, uh, and drop that out. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show that not all Balfangs are bad, so I'm going to hook up some other ones. Stay tuned. Okay, so what we have now is a UV5RE+. 
And my first ham radio was either this one or another one that I have. I bought one, and a couple weeks later, I bought another one. So let's go ahead and get this baby turned on. And we're in frequency mode. I'm going to go into the menu real quick, and I'm just going to make sure that we are on high power, which you can see here, TXP high. So we are. So let me exit out of there. And uh, let's go ahead and key this baby up and see what we get. Holy mackerel. Now, what's different between this one and the other one that we saw is a lot of those frequencies or those spurs or whatever you want to call them did drop down, but they're not dropping down on this one. And you can see uh, number one is our fundamental, and then the harmonic we're seeing is, is labeled two. And if you look at the data table at the top of the tiny SA screen capture, you can see that that one is uh, 46.9, 47.12. Uh, DB down from the fundamental and that would give this thing a green light so I'm going to unkey and then what I'm going to do now is we're going to test one more that way you guys get your price of admission all right and now what we have here is a Baofeng UV5R5. And there was some bait that this was not a real Baofeng. It was a fake Baofeng. Um, you can see I call this one Red Fang. And we're powered up. Let's check the menu real quick. Text power here is low. So what we want to do is we want to hit menu. We want to go to high. And then we want to hit menu. And then we want to hit exit. All right. Well, here we go. Let's key it up and see what we get. Oh boy. It looks like we got a couple of things going on here. And uh, let's give it a second. What you can see from our primary or fundamental mark number one to number two is a difference between 18.8 .8 decibels. And uh, that's no good. So this Baofeng is not clean or fit for use, um, which is a shame because I kind of like the red. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up today. I appreciate everybody watching. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thank you.